Alrighty, hello YouTube, ZShadow64 here, back again with another Clash for Dawn tutorial video, and in this one we are going to be covering Demon Raid. So, essentially, all you have to do to um, access a, a demon is go to uh, Death Desert or Burning Moor. So if we actually head to Death Desert here, uh, whoops, well, that doesn't usually happen when you uh, go to Death Desert. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm not the leader for this one, but I guess we're going to jump right into our first demon. Um, so this is actually the level 55 set that we're currently doing right now. Uh, so in, in the desert, there's actually two level 55s that you can face. Um, along with uh, two level 45s and one level 85 in the center of the map. And in, uh, in more, there is actually uh, four level 55 demons, three level 70s, and one level 85. So with the level 55 set that we're doing right now, um, there is actually a total of six demons that you can... Uh, that you converse. Now your chances of getting all six demons uh, before somebody else takes takes one or two of them is very slim. Uh, usually I can only get about three level 55s per run before somebody steals them all. But this was the demon that we actually just faced and I'm about to get my butt kicked. <laughs> Ah, run away, run away. There we go. Go ahead and... Alright, so this is actually a level 45 one here. So I guess our leader is doing a very broad range of levels here. So going ahead and uh, kill this guy. He shouldn't be hardly any problem at all. I don't think he can really do any damage to us. Uh, now, if uh, if you're higher level and you kill a lower lower level uh, demon such as this, uh, the only thing bad about doing this is that you get less rewards. So as you'll notice, um, if you compare, we uh, we didn't get as many medals and whatnot. Now you can only do demon raid. Uh, oof, I believe it was eight times a day. It's, it's been a minute since, uh, since I actually did a full demon raid set, so, um, I can't, can't quite remember, um, what the limit was. I believe it was eight times, though. So, go ahead and, uh, kill this fallen colossus. So, after you... After you've defeated eight demons, then you will no longer uh, receive the gifts from killing the demons. Now, if you go about trying to kill a level 70, you actually have a chance at obtaining some level 70 gold fragments. So that's also nice as well. It gives you a little incentive to go and try and kill the level 70 uh demons now unfortunately you do have to invest a lot of time into trying to kill the level 70s they do take uh like a good 10 minutes to kill one level 70 demon <laughs> and all right so i'm trying to see if it lets me know how many tries i got left but unfortunately i do not see that but all right let's go ahead and uh head into more and you'll uh you'll learn to memorize all the locations of where these demons are at uh i would go and show every single location but like i said there's uh, it's it's almost impossible to to actually go and uh and find every single demon anymore because there's there's so many higher levels out there that just absolutely um, glide through all these uh, all these demons. They they destroy them like they're nothing. 
and what you also want to make sure is that you're a high rank um, I believe you have to be in the top four in order to actually receive uh, the the medals and whatnot and uh, you know you're probably like oh well there's only four of you anyway so doesn't everybody get a get a gift well that's where the uh, the raid factor comes in and the name demon raid so somebody from the opposite faction can come in and steal our kill at any given time and then you may not make that um, that rank four or higher so that's the uh, that's the I, I don't even know what the heck word I'm trying to say here <laughs> um, that's the gimmick I guess you have to make sure uh, that if you get raided you still do su sufficient enough damage to get in the uh, the top four to uh, achieve getting your the, getting those gifts and also um, if you're in uh, Death Desert or uh, Burning Moor, you can hit this glowing demon raid icon at the top, and that'll kind of give you a rundown of the locations of where all the demons are at. So that's probably the most useful tip. And actually, it looks like they finally... Oops, I accidentally paused it. But it looks like they're finally showing what demons have already been taken, which is quite interesting. So... I believe it doesn't show a level on it now if um, if the demon has already been killed. So that's that's actually really useful. I'm glad. That and sorry guys, my pause button happens to be right where that uh, right where the demon raid button is, and I kept tapping that over and over again and pausing the video. But this is actually really useful. I'm happy that they finally got this uh, system knocked out here because. I don't know, maybe it was just my device, but every time I opened up this map, it actually did not show, uh, it didn't give a very clear indication of what level the demons were, or whether or not they had been killed. So this is, uh, this is a future I'm very happy to see, and, um, <laughs> I'm actually surprised I haven't got killed yet. <laughs> Usually I always get killed whenever I go and try and do demon raids. But uh, also, the time is also very infor important for the demon raids. Uh, you want to you want to take note of what time it is, um, because at every at the beginning of every hour, so at, like at the beginning of seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, at the beginning of all those hours, and um, pretty much any hour in the game, there will be a new uh, new fresh set of demons to kill. And at the 30 minute mark of every hour, all the demons disappear. So you have a 30 minute gap um, as soon as the new hour starts to hurry up and finish your demon run before they all disappear until the next hour. So that's pretty confusing, I know, but um, you'll get it down pack as the more often you do it. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video guys um i don't really think uh there's much more to talk about here and really no point in uh in continuing the video so uh thanks everybody for watching and i hope you all enjoyed the video okay never mind this is actually a good chance to show uh the raid function so somebody else from the opposite uh, opposite order is actually in here already so we're gonna go ahead and raid them and my goal here is just to make it into the top four that's all I need to do in order to get the rewards and obviously since I'm a healer I better start healing my team as well <laughs> so I just got my butt kicked and every time you get killed inside the demon raid um, your uh, spawn timer is increased so I I won't be able to spawn again for a longer duration the next time I die. So as you can see, I'm at 7 seconds now. And you also get a bonus to your XP and coin if you manage to get the last hit. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier. Crap. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use gems. I don't even care. I need to use gems on something. I haven't used them in a... <laughs> 
I hardly have been using mine, so they've just kind of been adding up. And I would like to, uh, I would like to make the ranks, or at least get the last hit. So I was able to put down my, uh, my little AOE attack there, so hopefully it manages to get the last hit on him. Maybe I'll get lucky. Oh. Well, I didn't make the top four, unfortunately. I didn't think I got the last hit. Yeah, so... That was an epic fail, but whatever. Uh, so, as you can see, I, I didn't hardly receive it. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even sure if I got anything at all for that. Um, but that's why you want to make it into the top four, like I said. That way you get the better rewards. So, now <laughs> that I've shown everything, I'm going to go ahead and end the video, guys. So, thank you all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.